Well, up next, the man called the bridge builder. We're going to show you how he's bringing together Christians and Jews after centuries of hostility. That's right after this. Well, you're watching The 700 Club. Christians and Jews have had a rocky 2,000-year history. There have been times of intense persecution and times of great suspicion. But in recent years, evangelical Christians and religious Jews have reached out to one another and found common ground. And one of the pioneers of that effort is a rabbi whose name is Yekiel Eckstein. And I want you to take a look at what he's doing. When Rabbi Yekiel Eckstein founded the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews in 1983, his goal was simple, to build bridges of understanding between Christians and Jews and to show Christians how to reestablish their biblical connection to the land of Israel and the Jewish people. Over the next 30 plus years, IFCJ has far exceeded expectations. Not only is the organization a leader in Jewish Christian relations, it has also helped thousands of Jews around the world escape poverty and anti-Semitism to return to their biblical homeland, Israel. And IFCJ has funded humanitarian assistance that has touched the lives of millions of Jews worldwide. The story of Eckstein's life's work is told in a new biography, The Bridge Builder, the life and continuing legacy of Rabbi Yekiel Eckstein. Well, our dear friend Yekiel is here with us now. We welcome him back to the 700 Club. Good friend, it's good to see you again. Thanks, God Pat. bless you. Great to be back here. You are, you know, you're an Orthodox rabbi, and in your Jewish community, there was such suspicion about evangelical Christians because there was such persecution through the, through the centuries. How did you overcome that? I, people who've read the book already, and it just came out a day or two ago, and it's already a bestseller. It's yeah. shocking. Uh, but they say that they never realized how challenging it was for me mm -hmm. in my community. Um, there are a lot of Jews still from Europe, a lot of people with prejudices based mm -hmm. on 2,000 years, a lot of people who uh, haven't, uh, a lot of Jews who haven't built yet the trust Mm -hmm. uh, I might say that over the 33 years since the ministry started, and thanks to people like you, I want to be sure I get this in <laughs> in the time that I have here. You are one of the few leaders that made this happen, uh, changed history, because what you did, Pat, was you gave Jews a reason to trust. Mm -hmm. Evangelical Christians are today perceived, even by Jews, yeah. after all these years, um, as our greatest friends and allies. And you played a leadership role in making that happen. Well, together we're both bridge builders then. Yes, yes indeed. Yeah. I remember, if I may say, the yeah. first time that I met you here in the 700 Club and I had just started the fellowship and uh, uh, we met and um, I said, how did you, we, we both knew Harold Bradison mm -hmm. of blessed memory, Jamie Buckingham, and how did you build this whole thing, this whole ministry? And you said, uh, I will pray for you and your ministry. And I remember walking out of that meeting with you and saying, oh, great, another Christian who's going to pray <laughs> for our ministry. <laughs> when I don't have an office, I don't have a secretary, I don't have a salary, etc." By the time I got back, there was a $10,000 check for the fellowship um, that you sent that was in my office. So you've been a part of this from the very beginning. Well, I could tell your heart because you had such love for the Christian people and love for the Jews. And I knew we needed to build bridges and yeah. that love had to be expressed tangibly. And it starts with, I believe, a love for God. Um, you know, when Jesus was asked about the two most important commandments, he said, love, which we say every day in the Jewish people and from the Bible, you love the hafta et Hashem alokecha, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And vahafta l'reacha kamocha, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. I believe it starts, at least for me, by always following God mm -hmm. and the direction that I feel the, the calling 
mm -hmm. uh, that I felt from the very beginning. And when you feel that calling, you're able to fight every battle yeah. uh, within your community against others because you just feel well, a you, calling. You felt a calling from God himself. The, I did. The, the, that was the mission to build a bridge between evangelical Christians and Jewish and people. People were... Um, saying to me, Yechiel, who do you think you are? You're going to change 2,000 years of history. But when I started meeting evangelical Christians mm -hmm. and I saw their heart, mm -hmm. people like yourself, I said, no, this is genuine. This is of the Lord. It's not in the natural mm -hmm. and that it's a new time. And since that time, um, God has blessed us. Our ministry has gotten huge. Yes, um, and we're all over over the world and we're helping the people of Israel with all sorts of social projects and helping in uh, the former Soviet Union to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked. And we always say this is a gift of love from Christians in America or Canada or Korea or wherever it is that it's from. And that is breaking down the barriers on the Jewish you side. You know, the thing that we don't think about because the Jews are such uh, skilled business people that there would be poverty in Israel, but there is. And you've it's been shocking. meeting. Yeah. What it's about? it's a sh what we call in Jew Jewish ashanda. It's, it's an embarrassment mm -hmm. that today Holocaust survivors in Israel, not just in Moldova and Ukraine, yeah. Holocaust survivors in Israel are living in poverty, have to make a decision. There are 200,000 elderly Jews in Israel mm -hmm. who we are helping yeah. thanks to these Christian yeah. funds. And it's... It's um, it's it's a, a blight on 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 uh, on our community that we're not Wait, doing more. Somebody wants to help. What, what do they do? Oh, what's the address? Is there? It's, uh, well, the, they uh, can contact us through the uh, website, which is IFCJ International Fellowship of Christians mm -hmm. and Jews. IFCJ org.org and we have programs bringing Jews on Aliyah. We yeah. brought Christians have brought in fulfillment of prophecy mm -hmm. 350,000 Jews from the land of the north. Come on, are you serious? That many? 300 we have uh, contributed roughly $185 million from Christians mm -hmm. just for that one project on Wings of Eagles to bring people home. As, and it's the fulfillment of prophecy, uh, no question. This book is called The Bridge Builder. It just was released and it's available where books are sold. It's a bestseller. Uh, you want to read this book and help these people. And it's been our privilege to be a partner and friend of uh, Yekiel over the years. And uh, I just thank God for the ministry he has. Well, that's all the time we've got. But we leave you with today's Power Minute from Psalm 104. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.